Hey everybody, how's it going? So, me doing everything backwards as I always do with it being fall, coming into winter. Now I start working on the mini bike projects. Um, doesn't matter. I didn't even ride all summer. Um, didn't get a chance. I was busy doing other stuff or just being lazy. But I want to get another bike. Like I have my good mini bike that I ride myself all the time or whenever I do ride it. And I'd like to have a, a decent one for friends to ride. This one works. It works great, but it's a 97cc engine, and it's it's rather gutless. I mean, it'll move you. It'll get you up to about 30 kilometers an hour, 35 maybe. And it runs all right, but it's just, as I say, gutless. So the plans are, I just finished fixing this up. I bought this about, I don't know, three, four years ago maybe. Maybe a little longer, I'm not sure. It was before COVID times anyway. Um... I bought this motor. It's off a, a sweeper. It's a 10 horsepower, 302 cc. I had to, I let it sit. It ran perfectly when I bought it and it sat on a shelf ever since. And the tank just filled with, with gum, gunk and the fuel all turned, turned to varnish and the carb. I took everything apart, clean it, new fuel lines. Uh, the old tank is garbage. So I've got this one that's going to go on the mini bike anyway. I'll show you more about that. As far as I know, this thing works. I ran it on starter fluid, but I haven't ran it since I got the carb. Um, problem is when I started on the bench here, it just rattles everything off. So I don't want to start it. I'm going to wait till it's in the bike. I know it works. I'll make it work. Um, now here's a little thing. The mini bike here, this has been sitting outside in my yard under a tarp for, I don't know, a couple of years, basically on and off. And I don't want anyone to steal it. So what I do is I, you know, I pull the spark plug cable off, disconnect the cutoff switch so it won't start, move the choke on, fuel off, whatever, you know, anything to slow down the idiots that steal stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if it'll fire up. I haven't fired it up. I think I fired it up earlier this spring when I was going to sell it. And then I just got too many retards applying. Sorry, pardon the word. Too many idiots replying on Facebook Marketplace with, I'll give you $100 for it. Or, you know, is it perfect? Blah, blah, blah. No, it is what it is. I was selling it for $300. Come on. So anyway, I'm going to say it'll start fairly easy because on all my small engines and my I keep a cherry can, 20 liter can of, of premium fuel, no ethanol. And I also add just a little bit of sea foam, a little bit of gas line antifreeze, about an ounce of stable to that 20 liter thing and 15 milliliters of this small engine tune up. And it's protected all my engines. My snow blower over there under the coat I don't do any maintenance on that. I think I've changed the spark plug and changed the oil on it a few times in the, the decade I've had it or more. So let's just see. I'm curious myself to see if this is going to fire up. So let's check it out and see. Hold on here. Let's move you guys over here maybe. I'm going to connect those things back up. And I'm guessing it should start fairly easy. This engine has always started easily. Except for when I first got it and had to rebuild the car. So let's put the plug back. see this but there's even spider webs all over this thing. Uh, turn the kill switch back on. Get some juice. Choke. Turn the fuel on. A perfectly good engine we're gonna pull it out so that's what we're gonna do first we're gonna remove the chain guard disconnect all the linkages up to the engine pull the engine out we're gonna clean the bike so before I get into anything I'm gonna show you guys what my plans are here uh, let me get something in just a second here all right so the plans are remove this Remove the engine, disconnect all the linkages up to it. See, it's going to come off because I've got a gas tank that's going to fit in there. So this needs to move back about four inches. I'm going to put it on a hinge here on the front of the seat and springs back here. So the seat has a type of suspension because these things ride like crap. And if it's going to be going faster, I want to ride a little better. And I'll work out something with front suspension later. For now, I just want to get everything mounted up. I have a torque converter for it. 
or a clutch, sorry, that fits. That engine has a one inch shaft. And so I have a clutch that fits on it, but the wrong, wrong uh, uh, cogs for the chain for the back. It doesn't match the back sprocket, so I'm gonna have to get another one. They're not cheap. Um, that's it. So I'm gonna start by taking everything apart and seeing if the engine will fit. I did measure it with the tape measure and it should fit. Worst comes to worst, I'll have to take out the back fender and the fender support and do something. I can weld something in. I will make things work. This will have the engine in it by the time I'm done these videos. I don't know how many there's gonna be, but it's gonna take more than one, that's for sure. So, let's get started here. <sighs> Pretty sure everything on this thing is just, just about a 10 millimeter everything. Okay. This is a magnetic tray for the parts. And a adjust the camera here so just hold on a sec folks all right here we go take the chain off and i notice this this bolt holding the torque converter on or the cat clutch isn't very good we'll have to loosen off the chain tensioner a bit so can we get on there of course not let's grab a wrench for that we'll loosen that off and i guess that's a 10 millimeter also A 10 millimeter. Well, perhaps it is not a 12. Probably a 14, but I, you know, got to try the 13 first. Oh, it is the 13. And there's a nut on the other side. And what size is that other one? Is that a 10? So it might be 11. Over 12. Holy cow, this is going to be a long video, eh? Do I not have a 12? Where's my 12? 13, 11. Oh, the 12 is in my hand. So they're both 12s. Okay. So you guys can see these uh, scissor lifts that work as motorcycle lifts in a pinch. I've had a few bikes up on here, full-size bikes, not just mini bikes. Works great. All right, just give me enough slack to get the chain off. Looks like a Phillips 
should get that on. Nice easy throttle linkage on this thing. I love it. I don't know what I'm going to do for the new one, but figure it out as I go, I suppose. screwdriver in there. Throttle disconnected from the engine. Kill switch. That looks like a Tim. There's not a lot of wiring, wiring on these. Okay, kill switch disconnected. Throttle's disconnected. Everything's disconnected. All we gotta do is remove the mounting bolts now which will be underneath. Um, not sure how much fuel is in this, so I might have to drain the fuel and then I'll lay it on its side to see what's holding the engine on. So just hang on a second here. All right, folks, we're back. I checked, I did not enough gas in there to worry about. I can tip it this much. There's four 10 millimeter bolts underneath holding the engine off. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off. I already broke them loose. The wrench, so I can just spin them out with the cordless ratchet here. Set an engine in. Let's get this fairly level before we drop it so it doesn't slide off. There we go. There's your little 97 horse or 97 cc. I don't know what it is, two horse or something like that. It ain't a lot. Set that down. Oh, it's got an engine spacer plate. Neat. Pull that out of there. Now what we want to do, let's get something to put under here so this sits fairly level. A two by four or two, or a two by six and a two by four. Let's stick that. Let's get the cutoff wiring out of the way. That seems stable enough for what I'm doing. This is just a test fit of the engine to see how it'll fit. Uh, we're going to have to take off the gas tank first. Should. Spin you around so you guys can see what I'm doing over here. I'm just pulling off the uh, fuel line off the fuel tank so I can take the tank off. There we go. Set the tank aside. Uh, let's see how this fits in. Should go in from the other side. Oh, this thing has an electric starter on it too. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. It's there though. Um, all right, well, let's, let's just go for it. This thing is heavy. It weighs about four times as much as that other engine, but Sorry about that. Let's spin you back around there. <laughs> this is crazy. It almost 
almost fits. I think if I put a riser on it a little bit, it'll fit perfectly. Um, this is just sitting on there. This is a, a clutch, but again, it's the wrong, wrong teeth on it for what I'm using. I bought this clutch for a go-kart project I had. So if I put it on backwards, I just want to see how the chain is going to line up. How far to the side, how far out this engine is going to have to stick. Quite a bit. Hmm. Not crazy about this. Let me walk around here. Let's see. We're already hanging out of this side a fair amount. stick a lot to that side and in here we will get a chain lined up probably so I'll take you guys off the uh, tripod here All right. hold on a second. here we go let's go look over so that's how it looks see it's touching the fender I can do, clear that by raising if I put some spacer under there about an inch probably why they had that spacer then, Plenty of clearance at the front. It's just that back fender. I mean, I could always take the fender off, but I'd rather not. Um, I do have a custom, I made a little plate for the exhaust because I'm gonna have to make a custom exhaust. Make the exhaust come down and, and out like that or something. Here's how she looks from the other side. Whoops, sorry about that. So yeah, it doesn't look too bad at all. You can see from the front how much it sticks out the side. This is something, overall though, the cylinder head is almost centered in the, the frame, so it's not terrible. I'll have to do something with the foot peg, obviously move it or extend it. This is gonna be doable. Um, I'll take the engine back out for now, figure out what I'm gonna do for, risers to make it an inch higher or so maybe an inch and a half because like, i got lots of clearance up here tons of room up there so yeah i'll see what i can do about that but fix and straighten out that front fender i'll paint the frame clean everything up real good i just want to make make it functioning and then i'll take it all back apart and clean it up and make it look good that air cleaner sticks out a long way but it is what it is. I can always put a different intake on it so it angles back and it runs straight along with the frame or something. But for now, so far so good. So I'll leave this here, you guys, and next video you'll come back. I will be probably figuring out a way to mount the seat. I'll worry about the engine after. I've got to get a hold of something to raise it. Not sure if some pipe underneath the... I'll figure something out. Um, I think now I'm going to work on the seat and how to mount it and get the tank mounted up. Um, I want to have the tank ready to go so when I get the engine in I can fire it up right away and make sure everything's working. So that's the plans. If you guys got any suggestions or questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Man, what a difference in engine size. Yeah, so this is a 10 horse, 302 cc electric start. Yeah, I don't know. It's too bad about the uh, the teeth on that. You can see how far apart they are compared to the sprocket on the rear wheel. I think this is the number 40 and this is a 35. It takes a 35 type chain, the pitch on it, whatever it is. Uh, we'll get it figured out. I'll probably have to buy a new, new clutch here, even though this one's brand new. I'll see if I can sell this one. We'll see if maybe somebody wants to trade. I don't know. I'll, do, I'll work something out. It'll get done. I'm happy it fits or will fit with a slight little raise. Doesn't even need much, really. I mean, if I go up an inch, maybe two inches even, so this will clear lots of space in here. It'll fit. I can move the engine back a little bit. I don't know. I'll work it out. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. 
and I'll see you in the next video.